carriage. I'm rich. So um, today we're going to um, be popping the engine back on the frame, securing it with all the appropriate engine bolts, and then setting the uh, valve clearances before we finish buttoning up um, the engine. So this can be a bit of a rattle, um, but the, the general idea is that we insert the engine from the left hand side of the bike. Uh, you can see there, uh, I think that the brake pedal um, is connected on the right hand side of the bike, so obviously the engine's not going to go in that way. Um, and the way that it comes out is it comes out uh, front of the engine first, and then the rear of the engine. So I'm going to attempt to put it in in the reverse of that procedure. So put the back of the engine in first, rotate the front end, and then drop it down um, onto its mounts. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's get stuck in. Okay, so the engine's back in the frame. A um, little bit easier than I thought, actually. Anyway, um, it's in there. So we've now got to insert um, the two low mounts. Um, so here we go, we've got the, the rear load mount and we've got the front load mount. Um, the front one takes the, um, the footrest hangers as well. So um, that's just a, a single right here it is. So that's just a, a single piece with, with nuts either side. Um, and then the rear mount um, has a, a hex end on it. Okay, um, now I'm just uh, going to apply some copper slip to it so it goes in and I, it, you know, if I ever need to take it out again, um, I shall be able to. Now, um, the Haynes manual suggests that you insert these bolts from the right hand side through to the left and bolt on the left. So that's what I shall be doing. The other thing just to take note of that I've done here um, is I've just used a jack just to take the weight of the engine and just lift the back of the engine up there so that I can push this through. We have a series of plates. So we have uh, these plates that live at the top, uh, the engine hangers, and we've got um, a couple of plates at the front, and then some rear plates as well, which also house the uh, toolbox. Um, now they've got just two different torque segments for each of each of those. Um, this one and this one have a different torque setting to the front and the lower mounts. Um, so then we'll, we'll just. Uh, from the bolts to these from here. At the top here we have um, the uh, rubber mount for the flasher relay. So there's um, two types of engine mounts that put the goal a 10mm and an 8mm. Um, I think I'm right. This one here, this one here are the 8mm. The front and bottom ones are the 10mm. So there's two different torque settings for each of these. Um, so for the 8mm ones here, we're after between 13 and 20 um, foot pounds. The recommendation for these is between 29 and 58 foot pounds. So um, I'm going to start at 20. One. 
Now, if you're coming just to do the valves, um, we'll want to do your cam chain before you do that. And so the procedure for that is you um, you get your left hand cylinder to top dead center on the LT mark um, on its compression stroke. And then you um, move the rotor 90 degrees, so a quarter turn, um, and that's where you um, set the tension on your um, on your cam chain tensioner. Okay, so the next thing that we uh, want to have a go at doing is um, setting the valve clearances. Now, um, when I was putting this together originally the first time, I used a lot of the advice from the um, Common Motor in America um, YouTube channel. Now, um, one thing that they advise when you are setting the um, valve clearances is that the um, factory settings were way too tight. So they, um, you know, 1.2 thousandths of, uh, of an inch uh, gap between the follower and the um, cam lobe, which they say is far too tight. What they recommend is um, three thousandths. So I've got um, two feeler gauges ready. I've got my three thousandths and I've got um, four thousandths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the um, one over procedure. So I'm going to set the uh, valve clearances with the 4,000th, um, make it tight, um, and then the 3,000th should be um, should be right. So what you've got on the 450 is you've got these um, lock nuts on the, the cylinder um, covers here, um, and you've got the set screw. Um, which if you remember from last time has that eccentric uh, movement on the cam follower um, so that's going to set the height between the uh, follower and the cam lobe um, screwdriver. Okay. so the basic procedure is this so you want um, the engine in the top dead center for whichever side that you're working on so we're working on the uh, left hand side at the moment so I've got the uh, rotor here set to the LT mark but it's the LT mark on the compression stroke so uh, just put my finger inside the um, spark hole whilst I rotate the end and waiting for that compression so that's set there now so I'm going to take my 4,000th, I'm going to pop it underneath the um, cam lobe there. And then I'm going to twist this until I can feel it tighten up. So that there is quite, it's probably about right. So this is a 14mm locking nut. Recheck. Yeah, too tight. Okay, so the four thousandth is tight, which means I'm going to use my three thousandth. It's nice and loose. Uh, same procedure on the exhaust. So I've got the um, lock nut uh, loose. Um, bearing in mind on the um, on the exhaust side, um, the lock nuts underneath the um, points cover. So well, I don't have any of the points on at the moment. But um, if you do, you're going to have to um, move the points cover first to be able to access this. So four thousand. It's about right there. Okay, and so that's basically the um, operation on both sides. 
Next step is to rotate the engine to the T mark. Um, so that will put the right hand cylinder, uh, the right hand piston at top dead center, um, but on its compression mark. Right. And so that's all sorted. Um, I'm just going to chuck a lot of um, oil over all the different bits inside here before I throw the covers on just to make sure it is well lubricated for that first start. So hopefully there, that is um, the vehicle button back up. Um, you can change the file, um, engine time properly, valve clearance is checked. Um, theoretically, when we go to fire this thing up, it should have no problems. So it's always a nervy thing. Um, you always start doubting yourself when you put the um, when you put the key in for the first time. Did I do it right? Did I have a, have a left screwdriver in there somewhere? <laughs> All those kinds of things. Uh, anyway, if you found this um, at all useful, um, please give me a big thumbs up, and make a comment, or consider subscribing. I do appreciate it, and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.